Hey, this is Asaf Levavi from LinkedInRef.com and it's time for another viewer request. And in this video, we're gonna learn a finger style arrangement I've made especially for you guys and girls of Chariots of Fire by Vangelis. It's a movie theme from the movie Chariots of Fire from 1981. And even if you haven't heard of the movie, which I'm sure you probably haven't, you still know this tune. It's a very famous tune. I'm gonna play it for you now so you can see and hear how it goes and then we're gonna break it down lick by lick with tabs on the screen as usual. So it goes like this. <laughs> This only has four chords in it. It's got A, it's got D, it's got C sharp minor, okay, bar on four, A minor shaped, and you got this, E seven sus four, okay? We're gonna talk about those chords when the time comes. So the time comes for A. So you put on A. Now uh, you bar the second fret up to the fourth string. You bar strings one, two, three, and four, and you're going to play uh, strings two, three, and four. Okay, so there's no need for the E string, so you can bar it. Okay, because if you play it, if you play it, it's A6, but we're not gonna play it. We're gonna play strings two, three, four, and five. Okay, the open A string, the fifth string is open, of course, so this is A, A major. Okay, so that's your first position. So um, I start by playing this. Okay, that's the intro. Now, um, as you can see in here, the thumb keeps playing the fifth string throughout the intro, okay? Um, and the way to get used to this is by just practicing this, like, um, like this. Okay? You play one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And every first and third beat, you add strings three and four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Okay, that's one way to practice this if you feel uncomfortable with keeping the thumb going. So it's one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. 
okay? It's chord and two and chord and four and chord and two and chord and four and, right? That's the beat you want to um, implement here. Okay, so that's one way to practice it. Now, the intro, the way I play it is this. I basically play one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. I play two bars of bass and then I play the chord, the uh, third and fourth strings on the first beat of the third bar. And then I keep the bass going. So it's one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and then on three and four end, I play this, okay, which is the pinky barring strings one and two on the fifth string. So it's actually a double bar. Okay, it's kind of a, an extended A five chord uh, because it's five five two two zero, and these are octaves, so we're playing an A note, an E note, an A note, an E note, an A note, right? So it's an extended A5 chord. So you double bar it, and you play, uh, you play the bass, of course, with the E string, right? Three and four and, and then you play uh, the first beat of the next bar with the B string on five so it's right and then you complete the bar so it's one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and chord and two and three and four and one and two and three and four three ah this is confusing three and four and one and two you play a chord again and repeat the bass notes till the bars end and two and three and four and right so um, this is confusing to call out but it's a lot more it's a lot simpler to just play so it's one two one two three four one two three four chord two three four one two E, B strings, chord, okay, that's the intro, bass, bass, chord, bass, E string on 5, B string on 5, chord, okay, I hope you got it, okay, you don't have to play it in that sequence, you can create your own intro, you can just start by playing this. make your own intro it's still a fingerstyle arrangement and um, you can toy around with it okay I'm not in love with this so you can take this and make this your own uh, I'm not forcing your hand to play exactly what I play okay make your own arrangement of this so that's what I play let's play it one last time and then move on to the verse so the intro is the following <laughs> notes, chord, bass notes, E string on 5, B string on 5, bass notes, chord, bass notes. That's my intro. Anyway, the verse goes like this. The verse. It's not a verse, it's an A part, okay? But we'll call it verse and chorus because that's an easier way to approach it instead of saying A part and B part and sounding all official and stuff. So, verse and chorus. Um, it's basically the same thing, A part and B part. 
versus of course two names for the same thing so um, you're still an A and you play this okay you're still on A when you do this okay it's the G string on two and then you move to uh, D but you're playing uh, D sus2 at the beginning you're playing this okay and then you play the F sharp on the E string the, the second finger on 2 so you start with D sus2 with an open E string okay it's a D chord with an open E string you take your finger off of it and you play strings 2, 3 and 4 and then on the E string open E string and then 2 on the E string okay it's 0, 2 on the E string so it's got it? so it was this end of the intro got it? the, the A note 2 on the G string is still inside the A chord and then D sus2 then the F sharp note and then you put on A just a normal A this time and you play this okay it's um, the melody is just an open E string and then strings 2 and 3 together okay both of them on 2 You can play it in two ways. You can play this. Or you can go on playing the continuous bass line whenever you're on A. So if you're playing the continuous bass line, it's this. It's just one, okay, the first beat with the E string and two and and then the third beat with strings two and three and four and and then one and and then you play this again okay so it's one and two and three and four and one and and then you play the G string on two again and then you play the D sus two to D line again and then you just play A. Okay? You just play the first beat with the open E string. And you go on playing the bass. And an optional uh, chord here is to just play this. Okay? Just to play the, the chord. Strings uh, 3 and 4 on the... Uh, first beat of the next bar but you don't have to you can play this just keep on playing the bass notes and then again on the next bar you just play one and and then all right it, it sounds like this one and two and three and four and one and and then you play the first riff again okay the exact same thing G string on 2, D sus2 two to D, then A with the E string and then strings 2 and 3 on 2, so it's okay, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and, and then the final line, okay, um, before we get to this, let's just play everything again okay very simple right G string D to D sus uh, D sus 2 to D A chord then again this time just the E string on A then again the first riff complete chord and then this time you play the B string on two instead of G, right? Instead of the G string on two, you play 
the B string on to, okay? And then you bar the second uh, fret up to the fifth string, okay? Even though you're not playing it, in case you play this instead of just the E bass, you want this note, you want the B note uh, to sound instead of an open A string because that would be a dissonant note. So you want to make sure you're putting your finger on all the right notes. So you bar the second fret up to the fifth string, okay, and you put a finger, either the pinky or the third finger or the second finger, if that's comfortable for you, um, on the third fret of the B string, okay, that's that's E7 sus4, okay, and the open E bass, of course, and you play strings 2, 3, 4, and 6. Okay, you play this. And then you take the finger off and you keep the bar on, you play the B string and then the G string. Okay, and then you take the bar off of the A string for the open A string because we're coming back to A and you play strings 3, 4, and 5. Okay, and then you continue the bass line. Okay, so it was this. B string, strings 2, 3, 4, and 6, E7 sus4, 2 on the B string, 2 on the G string, take the bar down one string, down physically I mean, up musically, and um, you play strings 2, 3, and, uh, no, excuse me, th uh, 3, 4, and 5. So it was, okay, and then you continue the bass line. It's one, so it's and two and three and four and one end, right? You play, um, it's always up to the one end because the, the first melody note is always on the second beat okay, of the bar. I hope that's clear uh, up till now. Okay, you always count one and two and three and four and one end and start the melody. So the verse. That's it for the verse. Now, there's a variation yeah, you can play, uh, and we'll learn it in a second, and that variation comes around in the second time you play, you play everything. The first time you play the verse, you play this. The second time you play the verse, you'll play verse, chorus, verse, chorus. So, the second time you play the verse, play the variation I'll teach you in a moment, but first let's learn uh, let's learn. We've just learned it. Let's repeat the entire verse, the entire A part. So... Optional chord. You can play a chord, you can continue playing the bass, anything works here. You can choose to just play a chord once or not play a chord at all. One last time, slowly, from the intro, okay? Intro and verse. around twice and then uh, you play the chorus so let's learn the variation of the verse first and then we'll learn the chorus so the variation of the verse sounds like this You 
start with the original riff. D, A. And then you do this. Okay, you can also do this. Okay, and play the entire D5 chord, but you don't have to. It's 5-5-4-2. Five, five, and with the second 5, with the second A note, you play the D bass. Okay, 5-5 five, five with bass, 4-2. And then A. Okay, just the E string. Um, it's the same second ending. It's just the E string with the A bass. And if you want to play the chord, you just put this on. Okay, two on the G string, three on the B string, and five on the A string, and you do this. Okay. okay and then it's four with your third finger, and two with the bar. You don't have to take this off. Okay, you bar the second fret. Okay. Or you can just play the bass. And then the next, uh, the next uh, lick is this. The same lick, only instead of being the second lick, this time it's the first lick. Same thing, 5-5-4-2. Five, five, and then it's A with the E string and then the second and third strings. And then, same ending, E7 sus4 to A. So it was D, A, 5, 5 with the D bass, 4, 2, A. 5, 5, 4, 2, A, chord. Let's play the variation um, again a little bit slower. So that's the A part, the verse. Now for the B part, the chorus. It goes like this. So as you see, it's as repetitive as the verse. The motif here is to repeat a basic line and just change it a little, or change the sequence of the chords or the length of the chords. It's basically the same line three times with the same ending, E7 sus4 to A, all the time. Every line ends with that. Every line, every phrase, every complete phrase. So um, it's five, four, two, zero, okay? Now, you're barring A, so you can do it like this. And take the bar off at the last possible moment to keep the chord going, because it's this. And the chord is still ringing, and then and the chord is just still faintly ringing in the background. So you can do it, you don't have to, you can just do It works as well. So it's five, four, two, zero, and then C sharp minor. You pick uh, strings one and five, and if you want to harmonize, you pick strings one, two, three, and five, or one and two and five, okay, or 
depending on your taste, you can play this. The next um, melody note is five on the B string, and you can harmonize with the G string. I recommend that you do that. Okay, and that completes the chord if you just played this. And then D, the entire chord, strings 1, 2, 3, and 4, so it's... And then 3 on the B string, it's inside the D chord, so it's... Okay, you can harmonize the B string with the G string again. Again, strings 1, 2, 3, and 5. And then again. But you stop there. You play this, 5, 4, 2, 0, and then C sharp minor. And then you keep on playing the bass notes. Okay, it's 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and, and then A. can just play the bass because you need this right away. So you can either play the chord or just play an open A string. Both work fine. You don't have... it's just a very small space for the A sound to ring so it makes almost no difference whether you play the chord or just the bass note. Two and three and four and A. Got it? If you really want to play the chord, you can bar and play strings uh, two, three, four, and five, or strings three, four, and five, and then they'll ring out when you do this. That's another option. So. Got it? And that way, you have the best of both worlds, you play both the chord and the melody. So that's the best option, actually, in my opinion. So, the third line is the first line. Just uh, 5, 4, 2, 0, C sharp minor, E string, B string and G strings, D, and then B and G strings, A. And then the same ending as before. Right? Two on the B string, E7 sus4, two on the B string again, G string on two, A5. Okay, A on strings G, D, and A. Three, four, and five. So that's the chorus. So again. Again with calling out the chords. C sharp minor D A. C sharp minor D four. Sharp minor, D, A, D, A. Now you might have noticed that I've been playing the bass notes. The rule of thumb here is whenever you can play the continuous bass line, do it. It's up to you. Sometimes I play the continuous bass line, sometimes I don't. It's nice to vary a little and just play around with the bass notes. Sometimes you play it, sometimes you don't. But whenever you can play it, just play it. Okay, you can almost play it throughout the entire verse, uh, the entire chorus. Just try it out. 
Now for the ending part. The ending part is just repeating this. Four times. Or three times, or two times. Right? Up to you. And then... Doing this. Okay? This is a D shape. On 9, 10, and 9, okay, which is D, a D shape. This is an A chord, okay, because it's D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, D sharp, A. So this is A, okay, and you play this 9 on the E string, then you add 10 with your pinky on the E string. Okay, that's the sus4 shape. And you play that, okay, this is A sus4, and you play that with the E bass, okay? And then you take the pinky off and you play nine on the E string, 10 on the B string, and then you play the chord with the A bass. Okay, and you play strings two, three, and five. Okay, you can play this. It works, but if you want the original melody, you play strings 2, 3, and 5, okay, instead of the entire chord. Got it? 9, 10, entire chord with the E bass, A sus 4 over E, and then 9 on the E string, and then 10 on the B string, and strings two, three, and five. Again, you play that a couple of times. Okay, and when you're tired of it, you play. And instead of the final chord, you play this. You play um, 7 on the E string and 10 on the B string, okay, with the A bass, so it's 7, 10, and the A bass, and you slide from 7 to 9 on the E string, you keep your other finger on the 10th fret of the B string, so you get this, okay, this, 7 to 9 on the E string with... 10 on the B string as your harmony. So, right? Okay. And that's it. There you go. That's Chariots of Fire. So, before you go, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. There's a ton of lessons here already and I make a new one every couple of days or so. Go download the tab from the website. The link is in the description below the video and the tabs are for free, of course, just like this lesson is for free. Everything on Lick and Riff is for free and will always be free. But if you want to give something back to Lick and Riff, there's a donation button on the website right above the tabs. and. I'd be grateful for any donation whatsoever. It all goes right back into Lick and Riff, into making time to make the arrangements, perfect them, practice them, making the lessons, filming them, editing the lessons, uploading them, and you know, the works. It all takes time and effort and work, and it's a work of love, but still, if you wanna help out, there's the donation button, and I thank you in advance for any donation you choose to make. So, you go practice this, go get the Thunder of Fingers, and Play it for your parents. Your parents will be shocked. They'll, they'll never expect you to play this for them on guitar. They probably know this tune a lot better than you do. So go practice this and play it for them and watch their reaction. And let me know in the comments how it went. Um, it'll be a barrel of laughs. Uh, anyway, go practice this. Get it under your fingers. Have fun. Enjoy. And I'll see you the next lesson. Thank you very, very much for watching.